Today's adventure begins as the recording of this about 8 a.m. on Monday, October 10th, 2022. There's a pigeon right down here. I am going to take flight, pigeon, except I do not have wings like you do. I am going to be boarding Spirit Airlines and heading back to Orlando, MCO, Orlando International Airport. Hopefully not taking a detour as shown there on that sign. And the hotel I stayed at was right here next to the National City Bank of Cleveland, founded in 1845, the Holiday Inn Express, where you can see Splore and Ryan is standing. Very unique overlay, well, interlay, I should say, of this historic building where there are hotel rooms. This was where we stayed during the tenure of our time here in Cleveland. And with the sun bursting there through the ride drop-off, I'm going to go in right here at the Delta Frontier Spirit Gate and see if our flight is on time. We are flying Spirit Airlines once again, which is always kind of an adventure. At least it was coming in, so it should be going back too. And looking up at the board here, it appears as if our flight departs at 9.55, gate A2, flight NK1718 right there. Also another airline departing as well, but that's that's not ours. Ours is at 9.55, gate A2. It doesn't really look like there's a lot of people in line up here too, so it should be pretty smooth. And I just realized we went down the wrong line. <laughs> we, we went down the wrong line. Okay, as I'm waiting in line here, show ID and boarding pass. Take out liquids, but only if the liquids are in a bag. Take off my shoes and jacket and they're thanking me for participating. I think this is gonna be a lot smoother than MCO because there's really not a whole lot of people here at this smaller airport, which is nice. Now at this particular airport, I had to put my laptop in the tray. That's not my tray, but it's just left over here. So laptop in the tray. And this is the first time they've ever said, just carry the, take the belt off. I had to carry the belt through. So this went through the little checkpoint, but I have this kind of in my hand and shoes off went on the little rollers themselves without being in the tray. So everyone's like a little bit different. Now we have to get redressed. As usual. I think one of my favorite things about this is walking around, walking around with no shoes on, just like on the, on the, on the dirty floor. I think that's my, thing. on the, <laughs> it's all part of the experience folks. And there's a little tie mural, tile mural down here. Got some of the sports teams here in Cleveland. You got the city of Cleveland little emblem there. Got the leaves that are kind of starting to change here at this time. You got oh yeah, because this is the rock and roll birth of birthplace of rock and roll. Got the music up there and whatnot. All right, which is which is our gate? Hey, behind us. Oh, we got to go behind us. Okay, not that way. The other way. And if I wanted to get myself a little souvenir, well, I mean, I already got a couple, but yeah, if you get this here, I always like to show these gift shops when you head in. And then I always just also like to say to where I'm going to be arriving, which is going to be MCO. Oh, I have just realized I haven't even done the intro yet. I should probably do that. Welcome everyone. Out of the woo here. Splore and Ryan. Today is the end of our journey. Our, how many days? Three day? If you combine the two, yeah. what days for? Quite a few days. I will be, hopefully we'll be getting back safely to MCO and I'll be taking you home. And I don't know what the rest of my day will consist of. And I don't want to pry into your personal life. So I don't know what the... <laughs> Meetings. Meetings? Meetings. I'm a desk jockey. All right. I'm inviting you to join me, Spore and Ryan, on Spirit Airlines, round two, the return trip. The spirit of the travel. Shall you? Now that I'm already kind of through the checkpoint, I wonder if this would have actually got... Would I have been able to go through with this? I don't believe so. You, I can go through with this, but now that I'm in here, I can buy this. So well, yeah, I can't take this through, but I've already through the checkpoint, so I can now buy this, take this off the plane, right? Yeah, I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get myself. I'm gonna get this little little Bertman original ballpark mustard. I'm doing it. And some airports do not sell gum. Cleveland's airport does. Some airports don't want you to put gum, and then you like stick it in places it doesn't need to be, so they don't sell gum. But Cleveland not only has snacks and cookies and things, but also some gum. So I'm also gonna get some winter green flavored gum so my ears don't pop on the plane. I have put away the stuff I just purchased, gum and mustard, mm -hmm. quite a mix. What is this? This is, uh, we are right about here right now, Okay. but this is the map of uh, the terminals, Okay. as well as what you can eat, what you can do, what you can buy. 
There actually is another one somewhere out here, but you have to go underneath the uh, the tarmac to get to it. I love that you use the word tarmac because mm -hmm. I use the word tarmac too. But we're a rare breed of those who use tarmac instead of just concrete and runway. Apparently it's a generational thing. I heard it once and I've just always used it ever since. Yeah, so it's a much better tarmac. word. Now peeking out the window here as one rolls by, I also want to check and see if I can get a window seat because you can't really pick your seats ahead of time. So I'm going to do that, but I'll be able to film a little bit during the day because the other night it wasn't until a later flight. We didn't arrive till after midnight. So I'll be able to see a little more out the window this time than the original flight. What are you looking at? Look at the building out there. Oh, out there. Okay. Do you, can you read the uh, the label on the? It side? says NASA. That is the uh, that is that is truly NASA over there. Though. Over there's the NASA Glenn Research Center, where they come up with the science behind the rockets. That's very cool. Okay, I'm just going to guess that this is our plane. It's kind of hidden there in the shadows, but it's pulling into the station. Right there, glimmering in the sun. Spirit Airlines, completely painted yellow. Look at that thing. Okay, on the way up here from Orlando to here a few days ago, this was not on the counter because it was kind of confusing as they switched gates and whatnot. I think even the, the team members and whatnot were kind of confused too, but they kind of ran over in a hurry. Can we upgrade to this? Can we upgrade to some extra comfort? Upgrade to a big front seat? It says we can. It says more space to stretch out and relax, and there's no middle seat. Well, that could maybe be considered a seat, but I don't think they probably can't buy a ticket for that. It is on time. Current time is 8.41. Departure time, 9.55. It's now pulling up there to the jetway. Which you can kind of see over here as I shift this way. So we'll be boarding, I don't know, in a half hour. Yes, the stuffing of the bags. You made it. You're good to go. You are good. To I feel good to go. And somehow I think that this is not really a thing anymore. And just inquired, there are no exit row seats and there are no bigger seats. However, I believe I have a window seat. Over here is a, is a guitar here because, you know, we're the, the birthplace of rock and roll. Now, I also am just going to assume that this airport was built in 1955, looking at this emblem here. And check it out, they have a little mini Rock and Roll Hall of Fame store in here inside the gates. Now, there is a Starbucks in here. There's also this lottery ticket thing. There's also a Sammy Hagar bar, Beach Bar and Grill up here. Kind of, sort of, tie-in. They do have fuel rods here, which they also sell at Disney, Disneyland, Disney World. And I'm seeing a lot of people that are getting off the plane that we're about to board coming from Orlando wearing Disney shirts. People went to Disney and coming back to Cleveland. I'm going from Cleveland down to Orlando. Now, as we're standing here, we're kind of trying to decide, is this artwork on the floor here on the tile supposed to be a guitar? Are we standing on like the fretboard and the strings? And this right, this may be the fretboard right here, possibly. And this could be the strings, maybe, possibly. Yeah, it's tough to tell. Now I am in group four, and before walking on, they said I need to get in line and pay for it to have this carry on. So I'm guessing it's probably gonna be $100 like last time. I've gotta pay extra. All right, all set. I am now boarding. A2, yeah, $99 to take this off. I could have done it ahead of time, but the other day I paid $99 and I never even checked anything when I went on, so I thought, well, maybe that's the case. $100 just to put a bag above my head. Ah, oh, Spirit. My first time ever flying this airline. I don't know how often I will honestly do it. My backpack I can put underneath my, my seat, but the one I gotta put above my head, $99 at the gate. I think it's $79 if I would have done it online, so I would have saved, saved $20. And I'm sitting in row eight. Window seat in row eight, I think. All right, I've got my, got my backpack tucked underneath there. Thank you so much. And got the window seat here, 8F. Oh, they finally turned the air. It was kind of warm when we walked up. Guess you can see how my knees just touched the back of the seat here. So we definitely had a little more room on the way up by doing the exit row. 
This is an Airbus A320. My knee's kind of crammed in there. It's only a two hour flight. And the reason I didn't get Starbucks is I always like to document the experience of the certain foods and treats they have. And I'm gonna go with, not any treats and sodas, but I'm gonna go with a Juan Valdez coffee like I had on the way up. Now I've heard that sometimes you shouldn't drink coffee on a plane because of the, it's because of the water that they use. But I'm, I'm feeling dangerous. I'm not saying I'll never fly this airline again, but if I do, because they do have a lot of direct flights, but if I do, I'll make sure I just have limited amount of cargo that's just in, a, in my backpack. I'll pack a little lighter. Even though I didn't really pack too heavy, but I won't bring my big bag. Or I'll just pay for carry-on ahead of time. So in a way, a roundabout way, it was kind of sort of my fault, but in a roundabout way, it's still a lot of money. The most magical place on earth. Ooh. Hey, we're all nice. glad you're here this morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Just a couple of quick announcements. With safety in mind, the FAA... They called Orlando the most magical place on Earth. That's pretty interesting. They didn't refer it as Disney, but they said the most magical place on Earth, Orlando. Old school cell phones, right? Also, make sure that those window shades are open down the length of the aircraft for taxi and Now you'll notice down on the ground down here, is that a piece of popcorn? Yes. So, Ryan got on the plane before I did because I had to pay for my bag. Where did that popcorn come from? So, what is on your seat? So the popcorn was on my seat. <laughs> you brushed it off on the floor. Yep. That's very nice of you. Yeah, I was brushing it. She brushed the walnuts off of mine, so just I'm paying forward. You had walnuts. Apparently, in my credits. But I will say, we did not have one of these little pouches last time. This is more convenient. Upgrade. Go. Alright, they're saying the weather. Pilots saying what the weather's going to be like when we land. It's going to be considerably warmer than it was. Even though today's pretty nice in comparison. Probably the nicer day of our, of our little tenure. But it's going to be a little warmer, definitely in Orlando, which I'm kind of ready for. Well, maybe not. I don't want it to be hot. We're now being pushed back, taxied back by the little tugboat thing that pushes back. So, you know, fun fact, the plane is not in reverse going back. It's being pushed back. They call it a pushback. And this is all pretty common knowledge, but stay in the obvious kind of what I do. I did not know that. You didn't know that? Really? <laughs> be truthful, the first probably 10 times I flew, I didn't realize that either. But yeah, we're being pushed back. There are safety information cards with the key backs in front of you that will show the safety equipment on the
350? I think so. Yeah. $3.50. The stewardess said that it's free refills. So they said if we want more, we might actually have to get a refill. I was just, you can tell by the size of the cup by looking at my hand. You can just see it's not, not a huge cup, but the free refill thing I like. So here's the question. $3.50 as opposed to a comped item on another airline that you don't get a refill. Do you get a refill? Well, you might get a refill on the other one. You probably get refills on all of them, but I like the free refill thing. That made me smile. And I'm going to put my creamer in here. Well, not my creamer, the cow's creamer is going to go in here. But the creamer says creamer in a stick. So is there a stick in here? So it's called creamer in a stick. Hmm. No, this is the one I see. Was that inside the packet? This was not. It wasn't in the packet. And also, near Orlando is Lakeland, Florida. Could this be a Florida creamer? Is it a Florida cow? Or is it another Lakeland in another state? Things that make you go, Savannah or going with Jacksonville though. Going with Jacksonville. 
so. All right, starting to come out of the cloud formations. Can hear the wing back here doing its job. Starting to, hope starting to turn. What I mean by the wing doing its job is like the back flaps start to turn the direction they need to go to slow the plane down. Should hit a little bit of turbulence going underneath the clouds. Laptop bags need to be stowed. That means either underneath the seat in front of you or in the overhead bin. They cannot be in between your knees. The area around your feet must be clear. Tray tables need to be in the upper locked position. Seatbelt secure. And of course, passing through the cabin one last time, collecting records. Thank you. Going through the clouds. Into the fog. The clouds. And it looks like we're going to bypass the airport and then probably, well, we're definitely going to have to do a U-turn and come back. But that looks like MCO right there. Going by it. I recognize the control tower. All right, go coming in. This looks like Lake Nona down here. See, there is a lake that's called Lake Nona, but this is like a housing development area, a suburb of Orlando called Lake Nona. All right, about to land, make contact. Successful landing accomplished. Made it back to Orlando. I am way zoomed in. That's going to be a little bit of a taxi ride over there. Look how far we are. <laughs> This tug. It sounds like there's a DJ on here. I mean, it's just really the wing going back into place, but usually it's like a fluid sound, not like a. It's like, it's like 
and scratch it. I reckon. I can already feel the humidity. Oh yeah. Can already. <laughs> Big difference. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Man, this is a lot busier than the Cleveland Airport was. Look at the people are in here. And successfully in or Lando. Pulling into the station. Window's a little dirty, but get the general idea. The APM is now arriving. here is we're going to go over to the main area and then we're going to go how to take another one of these over to the section C where we park which is kind of away from the main area so a lot of transportation devices to that the main one being the main one being the plane obviously but you can see the other monorail here is approaching from the other end the mayor is speaking that's, that's the recording of the, of the mayor saying that we've arrived in Central Florida. And I missed you too, Orlando. And in order to get over to sea, got to go through this main area and follow, not back in to go to the gates to get on a plane, but you have to go through this little corridor here, C. Oops. Now, a few days ago when we arrived, I ended up parking way off site at the new little area. And gonna go back over here, you can see not a lot of people are kind of heading over that way. So we're gonna go ahead and jump on here and head over there. We're gonna go over there. It's all new. Now there will come a time in the future where this whole area that I'm heading over to will be a real beehive of activity. Right now, it really isn't, but I found it worked out pretty well to park over here because there was no parking over in the main area. So we just parked off-site just a little, it's still on-site, but a little off-site. And just took the little little shuttle train over. There's a big windshield wiper in my way. No one over in this section, as opposed to how busy of a travel day it is. Which I'm not really sure why so many people were in the airport, but this section over here, hardly anyone. This will be my new hack that I'm going to utilize for the future if I have to go away for a few days, park my car here, take the shuttle over, and then that way it's kind of away from everything. Look at this. Quiet. Very quiet. Twilight zone vibe initiated. <laughs> There's no one in here. I'm not even kidding, I don't think there's anyone in here. Anybody? One person? All right, back to my car. And looking off the parking structure in the same, same spot we started at on Thursday when we departed Spirit Airlines over there. You got another airline flying in. This is like deja vu in reverse. You could say the monorails 
I don't think those are mono, those are double rails, but the other one was the monorail. I think I noticed there was two rails on that. And you were standing right there on Thursday. I believe I was. And now you're standing right there again. Happy to be home. Good to be back. Ash! That's gonna do it for today. A little travel video, a little flight video, a little coffee video, a little Spirit Airlines video. It's an episode. Oh, look over here. Downtown Orlando off in the distance. Very hazy, super, super pixelated, zoomed in version. 8-bit, you could say. Not really, kinda. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is in fact, and the Rays entire 2022 season, sadly. It's always next year. It's over. And leaving the parking structure, it was $76 to park for the series of days I was gone. I thought it was gonna be about 100, but it was 76. All right.